is the year 5016 of the Union Era, and the galaxy is home to trillions. At the core of humanity's territories, there is a golden age, but outside of this of newly won utopia, the revolutionary project continues. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Frozen Rain, which is, if you're not familiar, where have you been? Come on, catch up. But, uh, as the rest of you know, this is a Lancer campaign right here on Neon Lights Roleplay, uh, where we play through the fantastic work of Laurie O'Connell, uh, sleeping above a stolen crown, uh, with some brain thoughts added, and mostly just to account for the wonderful chaos that my, um, fellow storytellers create. But, I know before I talk about those wonderful people on your screen, horrors, um, so, Lancer is at its core a story about humanity and fighting back the evils of the old ages. And so, those evils still need to be confronted. Um, so, players have a direct line to me, uh, but you, the audience, um, don't. So, if you're uh, experiencing difficulties, the Savage 21st is capable and willing of providing exfil at the nearest blink gate at the simplest click of a button. So, take some time, refresh, full repair, and get back to the field when you can. So, for those of you uh, who don't know the techno babble, it just means, hey, you're feeling uncomfy, feel free to mute us, walk away, hit that big red X in the top right corner, or wherever your uh, platform you're watching on has it, and come back to us when you're feeling a little bit better, because, you know, like all things, the players are going to smash all the problems and make them look like absolute fools, so, it'll be awesome. But... Back to those awesome people I'm talking about a whole bunch. Uh, I may be at the helm here as your game master, but I am not alone at the wheel, as I have a group of industrious storytellers here to uh, take you in and uh, take you in and show you all the wonderful mud and blood of the Lancer storytelling system. Uh, so, beginning with the leftmost uh, and alphabetically first, uh, Andrew, could you please? Well. Oh. Howdy, folks. I am Andrew, and I am playing Leon Holt tonight. I, uh, totally normal, definitely not here illegally, Lancer pilot, with, uh, definitely not frightened for the lives of all of his companions to the point where it crippled him at the end of the last mission. Not at all. Couldn't be me. Um, but yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Lost Care Event RPG. Uh, so stream on Twitch at the Lost Caravan RPG, and we do lots of fun stuff with some of these cool people. I have yet to get half of these people over on our stream, but I'm working on it. Good. But, uh, you know, I'll just say quick before we jump over to Foxy that there are certain members on Spar who think all of you are here illegally. So <laughs> take that into consideration. But Foxy. What's going on, folks? It's Young Foxy, aka Big Foxy, also known as your favorite Fox Philly's finest, and uh, it's good to be back in the reins and also in my own home. Uh, today, I'll be playing and taking the reins of the ever incomparable and always irritating Ragey and his noble, chivalrous, and pain in the ass uh, mech best friend, Virtue. It's been a long time coming. I've missed this game, and I cannot wait to break some fucking heads. So let's get back to doing that, huh? No notes. Vermin. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm Legendary Vermin, and tonight I am playing Symbiosis Ads, who definitely didn't steal paracausal military technology from one of the largest arms outfitters in the galaxy and uh, secreted away to a tiny frozen planet uh, in hopes that they could date. This couldn't be her. Couldn't Couldn't be. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm here to... Uh, play the tiny woman driving the biggest robot thumbs up yeah seems like uh gosh the, the, these lancer pilots sure do be uh you know a temperamental and fighty sort i will have you know them. my record yeah. of personal self-control is spotless i have never once failed to not lose my cool every single moment okay if you ever found your cool, it would make heads. I have to have cool to lose it in the first place, so. Oh, you're very cool, though, to be fair. It is spar. Um, but last and certainly not least, uh, Meg Mysteria. Hello, everybody. I am Meg, and tonight I get to play the commanding officer of all of these Lancer pilots, uh, Elena Victoria, who 
some of it she has to plead the fifth on and say she doesn't know anything about and the rest of it she has to take responsibility for so please don't put her in this position guys <laughs> you know it's it's nice as you know the uh the game runner you have someone who in character also has to feel your pain uh anyway um where did we last leave off that's right the pit of despair. Now, uh, where we last left off, we just blown up that really huge robot right that right below us there. Actually, we just like mm -hmm. we just slagged it. You guys remember that last time when we just like wrecked it? Yeah, and, you like, see this guy? No that guy. At all? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I think I remember something <laughs> about that, but as I also recall, we lost that footage. So why don't we rewind and show the audience how we did that? So. You all, moving into the Frozen Bastion, a uh, a scant signal referenced through old military records of the uh, of the invasion of Spar and their war between the Second Union and the Spari Nationalists. Uh, planetists? Spari Defense Council. Um, may, um, you were able to locate it, fight off some wildlife, uh, and... Uh, Get those big doors open as you found a somewhat uh, apparently very old hangar. As you approach that terminal to access to what is a large sliding door to proceed further in, um, you saw six of these consoles light up and a very large mech. This guy here for those uh, watching on screen, I'll ping him right there. He's the big guy. Um, boot up as, uh, yeah, it's going to try and do violence. And you are free to respond to that however you wish. But before I begin, I do need to note something that does happen. Because first off, as a reminder, objectively to my players to make this absolutely clear, there are six consoles here. You only need to get four. It takes a full action and either a systems or hack fix check um, to uh, make it work. Just need a success means over 10. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. That being said, you do, uh, as, as the uh, Guardian boots to life, you're all going to get this kind of big blast, or feel like a big blast of energy just kind of pulse out through the hangar really quick. Just a quick, like not even enough, you feel like your mech's, Sees a little bit. If I can get everyone to quickly make a systems check. Uh, also, this feels like it'd be a good time for some appropriately spooky music. Is this a systems check or a systems save? Oh, system save is the one I'm thinking of. That's right. Okay. Well, I don't like either of those personally. What is my best scary one? Um, eight. No. Uh eight. You wanna you wanna re-roll that with your help of your girlfriend? Ye oh yes. Twenty. Twenty is twenty's a lot better, yeah. Okay, that's a sixteen. Okay, we got sixteen. I see a ten uh from Leon, um Dionysus and Dawn. Um 16 for Ragey and Virtue. I'm, all, I'm kind of saying this to remind myself of everyone's names as well. Arsenic and Old Lace got a 20. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, head is in an interesting place for Legacy. Can we get a. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I rolled a 2. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know um, what's going on, I don't, nope. So, Heritage and uh, your mech is named Legacy. Legacy. Um, Legacy. Um, so, everyone else, you're going to feel this kind of shudder as you all kind of systems down for a moment, but, you know... Your, your mechs are sort of built to quickly withstand bursts of energy like that. Otherwise, you know, anyone wielding plasma or other uh, 
or like you get your first hack and you just shut down. So you have Raider and systems to kind of boot yourselves back up quickly. Uh, in and we're just kind of quickly going to the cockpit though, as uh, Elaine, you're uh. It's gonna go dark, and you're gonna wait for systems to go back online. As you know, you just basically get like a red readout screen. I don't know what your situation is. If it's kind of more of a, I don't know. Can, can you tell me what your what your cockpit looks like? What's the deal? What's the vibe? Much like everything else with Legacy, the cockpit is very streamlined. Everything is set up to where a display you can angle your head just enough and you can see everything. So once it goes dark, everything is dark until error messages start flipping on in red in every sector of this display. Mm. Um, mm hmm. Controls kind of lock up as the system mm -hmm. stops responding. Mm -hmm. I guess is that what's going on. Here? Well, no, you, 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 you've set the scene, thank you. Um, so there's going to be a warning, and you're expecting to get, like, a, you know, your systems, you're, you're going to try and run diagnostics, you're going to even try... Um, now, remind me really quick, your NHP is also called Legacy, correct? Or... Yes. Okay. I'll yeah, well, make sure I make sure I'm remembering. The two are conflated. Yeah, good. Um, you're going to kind of... Not necessarily, like, you're expecting the loud alarm flares to go off. Just something, you know, if your pilot was knocked out, it would hopefully jolt them back. The way standard issue GMS, you know, pilot resuscitation techniques. Instead, it's going to be very quiet. And almost like there's someone in a seat behind you that's leaned up to put their head next to yours. Goes, oh, you are an interesting one, aren't you? You come to my planet, child of conquerors and bleeders, and think to do the same again. Son no, 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 no bitch. speaking now. Just let me show your friends what you really are. This little protocol is interesting. I'll just activate it for you. Uh, yeah, so your controls are going to freeze up, and I'm going to roll... <laughs> nice. Am I, I able it. to get on... Am I able to access comms? <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like, tell your friends, like, hey, yeah. we'll, 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 um, our systems go blank? Uh, all of, you, all of you got caught in EMP. This is kind of like, as your SE, you're booting up. So you're not, but you're not getting. If you're checking in, you're not getting a response. That's concerning. It's just taking, uh, because for here's the surface. Um, three rounds. You're cascading and can't shut down. Well, that's not. And I would like you to run the protocol, as you described lovely in your RMP. Everyone should uh, be able to read that eventually. Which, of course, if those aren't, if you aren't uh, so great to be part of our back rooms and be talking about it, uh, standard protocol for a uh, uh, standard protocol as dictated by uh, Victoria and uh, associated uh, pilot groups. If an NHP enters Cascade or a hostile NHP has entered a system that has clearly been compromised, you destroy the system. You can rebuild it. 3D printers are very easy to do. People can be pulled out of Lancer. Uh, mechs are easy to pull people out of. They're designed for the human components that remain alive. So just blow it up. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta destroy the mechs that have been infiltrated by the hostile NHPs. That all being said, y'all wanted the Transformers music. And so we're going to do the, the cool 70s bop because it's combat time, pilots. You got the move. Oh, dear. Hey, okay, wait. Out of curiosity, have we, we, we've touched this one, right? Like that one's been, been activated? Not as a full turn, no. Okay. It's, well. it's been prodded, but not touched. Yes. In that case, 
Y'all want me to just do that so we can have one out of the way? Oh, but the red one's one of my favorites. Is that a yes? Is that a no? Yeah, go for it. Fuck it. Uh, I guess I'll take a free action while I'm doing this. Just like, yo, EMP wave, check in. Everybody good? Sound off. Mimi and I are fine. Old man? Yeah, uh, I think I'm fine. Princess? No response to Princess? He has something to fuck. <sighs> Someone get over to check on her. I'm going to press this button. And yeah, I'm just going to take uh, Virtue's fist, clench it, and just punch the button real hard. I think you have to make a systems check. Well, yeah, system, that, system, punch it. system check or hack or fix. <laughs> hack slash fix. Uh, uh, I'd say 15 on system check. That's a success. You just need over 10. All right. Cool. You're going to watch as um, you kind of like just uh, hit some buttons as indicated. It's just literally just an easy shutdown system. It's not a complex bit of computer systems, but you are going to watch as uh, the general feeling of the hangar. You like see what looks to be some missile pods that were about to open up near the door. Just kind of pause and just close up again. Micro missile barrage. Come on, what's the fun one? Nice. Really fun. Lucky me for being in that spot. Fuck missile barrages. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it is their turn. Oh wait, let me, let me let me move though. That's a full action to. Oh, you can move. Yeah, let That's me fair. slide. Damn, dog. One, two, tray, four. I was really okay. Yeah. Uh. Um. Okay. So. My turn. That case, why don't we? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Some of you really like standing close. So, you are going to, uh, I'm gonna mark a spot on the map here. And I'm gonna make a different color so it's easy to indicate. Hey, Dawn. You are going to uh, see a lot of indication markers kind of light up in the area around you as you see um, a lot of uh, what appears to be different types of mini explosives, uh, like grenade launchers and stuff, light up from various mechs and defensive turrets around the room. They all seem to be targeted on that location there. So... Uh, that's gonna go, and then it's the base. Sorry, button. can yeah. I ask a question? You're always free to ask questions. So, be more precise about where they're coming from. Oh, sure. Um, it's a variety it's... of locations. It's not necessarily like a mech's firing at you. It's kind of like some of these mechs have been instead turned into like turrets, Art and points. they're coming from a variety. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. The lines of sight matter here because I provide hard cover and he's crouched behind hard it's, cover. It's not targeting Dawn, it's targeting the area around Dawn. Okay. So like, some might hit you, but like the general effect is going to be, we're gonna saturate this area of ground. Okay. So, base guardian, it's gonna be real cool. And uh, is going to do a. Oh, I'm still drawing circles. God, draw you better circles. me. Oh no! Oh no! All right, it's gonna draw circles. Like, oh. Now you're done. One, I think, two. All right. Is he yeah, going through the wall there? Uh, it's not a wall. Uh, that was the air. That was to illustrate the uh, wind tunnel. No, no, no. Oh, that's yeah. that was that's less of a wall and more of a like divider, and he's just gonna crash right through that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, he's a big boy, size three. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, you are within range two. Oh, didn't do that right. Anyway, um, so what we're gonna do. First quick action is it's going to pull a large drum shotgun and attempt to hit you. With that, well, with the, the bullets that come from it, though, to be fair. 
Give me a nine against your evasion, which I don't think does it. Uh, let me check. You're talking to me, yeah? Yes, it's gonna, sorry, it's aiming for old lace. Uh, a nine is better than my evasion. Ooh. Okay. Because I'm, I'm big and have armor. You are big. That's gonna be five kinetic damage. Okay, so that's reduced down to four. All right. Two, three, four. Armor, armor. <laughs> um, then, after, so it shoots you with one hand, then it's gonna come in as uh, and try and just extend a punch down towards you. So uh, please make a hull save. Okay. Uh, hull save. Great. Bless us and save us. Fuck. Four. All right. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take four kinetic damage. Three. You, you are going to be moved five spaces directly away from the guardian. Mm. So, you know, like one, two, three, four, and you'll stop. We'll say you stop at the wall because there'll be it's an elevation thing, so you can hit right there. Um, and you're knocked prone. He dokes. Yeah. Fun, right? Okay. Um, yeah, uh, that is going to be its turn. Up to us then, yeah? Yeah, down to uh, anyone who hasn't gone yet. My dearest wife, you want to go grab this console up here? Yeah, do I, when I'm prone, do I have to spend uh, an act, half action, like, standing up? I believe so. Um, I don't know. If, 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 if Hoop is uh, nodding his head right now, I'd go for it. Spend your move to stand. Spend your move to stand, but you can boost. It's a quick action. Yeah. Boost. Yeah. Okay. You used your uh, your core power. Did you use it last session? No, I didn't. That's the the big flag. Yeah. Big flag. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice, doesn't it? It helps. Uh, it's only first. until the end of my next turn, though. Yeah. It helps if you go first, use it, and then go last on the end of the turn after that. Cool. I think that's what we'll do next time. Sounds good. The turn order comes up. All right, then we stack up on you. Uh, okay. Uh, you just have to be within line of sight of me. Oh, bet. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, can I go crashing through that wall in, in much the same way? You'd be going up, but I'd say you can definitely move through it. Eh. Eh. Cool. Um, I am actually... You know what? I'm going to move to here. Um, and then I'm going to be overcharging to use the... So that's a stand, a boost to move, and then an overcharge to hit the buttons. That gives you a quick action. You need a full action. Uh, the quick action is the boost. Wait. Yeah. Stand is a move, quick action is a boost, and then full action is a button. Yeah, that, that does it. That sounds that's like it works math, good. baby. Yeah. Action economy. Uh, Cool. Technically, you could I, say you overcharged the uh, uh, yeah. You're an action economist. I, I, I did overcharge to do yeah. that. So. Well, as long uh, as you overcharged. You you got it. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Console there, and two more back there. And you said it was a uh, hacker fix? Uh, you can use a hacker fix or a systems check. Okay. Uh, I don't trust that anymore. Uh, oh. Or a D twenty plus three. Big numbers? Maybe. That's so not five. Time. Negatory. Ouch. All right, and I have a thought. Um, love that for me. Yeah, me too. Um. Why don't I take another turn really fast as the uh, base, and then um, why don't we give a shot over to, to Legacy there? Um, because Legacy, uh, you're gonna watch as a t uh, small like turret is kind of like brought around on like a on a system and just dropped and deploys right next to you. Um, I'm gonna drag this turret drone in. 
It's a bad turret, though, so it's going to get an evil person color, like red, because it's mine. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we still got... I have a friend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, That's now it's, it, it's like, it's, so it's, it's Legacy, go make, do your turn. Delightful, okay. Can you fly? Mm. <laughs> Are you sure that's a, an a question you want answered? Yeah. Tell you what, I can actually help you out more because I have four to five. I have uh, three triggers I can pull. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, this is gonna come towards you, Virtue. Fun. Uh, let me see if this hits because you're going to uh, feel kind of a combination of sensor and uh, uh, rifle firing at you. Uh, let's see if this does anything. 10 versus your evasion. Even. Even? It meets it? Yep. Okay, it's going to hit then. So, uh, oh, it's also supposed to have two accuracy. Eh, well. Uh, <clears throat> So, you're gonna feel this, you're gonna feel a slight ping, and then, um, a virtue of, I believe we're being tracked, my lord! So, can you please apply the locked on status? Okay. Um, as well, um, for as long as you have locked on, you're also shredded and can't hide or become invisible. Okay. So, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna suck. Anyway. Ah. Uh, well, that's not fun. Let's start my turn. Then. Yep. Go for it. Activate Mirage on myself. Um, treat myself as enemies treat myself as invisible until the end of my next turn. Relocate. I think I have a fun line here that I can draw. That's a great line that I can draw. As I, uh, draw that Veil Rifle. They've learned my technique of drawing me. lines. <laughs> As a four total. As me. cap damage. Oh, oh, wait. I have to actually roll, not damage. <laughs> actually rolling it helps. Yeah. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Whiff. Accuracy, that puts me at a 15. That hits me. Whiff also, harder. Uh, so is that a line? So does that also need a dawn indication for that's going to hit or not? Yes. There's a line through both of them. Yeah, I don't have cover, so I think it's just a straight roll. Uh, is, so I think, it, is it just one roll for all targets, or one, uh, two rolls? It should be one for every target within a line, a blast, or a cone. Okay. Roll but that I dice. Know in, the, in the past, we've used one roll for everything in a line, so... It eh, depends on the, the case. Also, what's damage? What am I thinking? That's... A uh, four. Ah, and cool. you are shredded, so you don't get armor resistance. I don't have any of that anyway. Ah, sucker! <laughs> the shredded the there. wrong person, nice. idiot! <laughs> I need that dice. It's gonna let me bully my friends. Couldn't hit a guy with the baby. <laughs> Fair point. But we get a roll to hit. So I have to roll again for Dawn? Yes, or... roll again for okay. Dawn, and then... That one's a 13. Yeah. All right. Roll damage for Dawn. Uh, three. Okay. Three. Um, and then at the three end of your... Three energy damage. And then at the end of your turn, the little turret is going to try and fling 
at uh, Virtue as well. Go for it. 20. That's going to hit me. That'll do four damage. I think, wait, is that crit? Enemies crit? That doesn't add more to it, right? That's uh -huh. just... No, that's just four damage. Take four damage. Did it. Kinetic. Um, okay. Uh, back to you guys, which I believe... I just me. Just you. Yep, just you. Real quick, All turret. Right. Uh, yeah. There's a turret right here. Can you put a green dot on it? Sure thing. I Old forgot man. it was there because I couldn't see it. Old man, how fast can you leg it? I guess we're about to find out. Let's, let's hope this still works. Run for the consoles. We're going to go ahead and activate that core power. So for the rest of the scene, plus one accuracy on all attacks, checks, and saves, and once returned, I can boost as a free action. So... I'm going to overcharge. Take a heat. Yeah. Just so you know, the uh, drum shotgun is a uh, threat three. So. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, overcharge so I can use the, the type three projected shield and obviously target that big boy right there. So all attacks that I make against it or it makes against me have plus two difficulty. And two, three, four. We are going to move away. Okay. It's going to take a shot at you with two difficulties. So it's going to be minus two D6 drop the lower, right? Yep. 20 minus two D6 D1. Uh, 13. No hits. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's going to be five kinetic. Ow. Oh, I didn't even add the plus three to that. Um, so yeah. Ow. All right. Uh, and we're gonna boost for free. Let's make sure my move's actually five. I think it is. Looks like it is. Speed is five, yeah. So one, two, three, four. Five, so there's my move and my free boost. And I'm not going to have enough to get there and still do a full action. Next turn, though, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my first quick action on Dominion's, Dominion's Breath on, uh, on Old Lace. So you have one overshield. I'll take it. And if you lose it for any reason, everything in a burst two takes two armor piercing energy damage. Oh yeah. Love to hear it. And I'm dead. Okay. So uh top top of the round, so it's gonna go back to you guys. You are gonna watch as the two hex explosion here uh detonates. As a number of explosive uh, charges and bits of uh, junker just shot there with no one home, unfortunately. Is it a burst damage? Burst two. Okay, how much damage does it do? Uh, it's going to be an agility save or uh, 12. And then you also are not prone because you don't want to get hit by this. But well, I tell you where it's going to be, so it's totally fine. Uh, shield is... Uh, how, much, how much damage was it? Well. Well. Oh, okay. So the, the deployable cover is gone. Oh. Noted. Thank you very much. Up to us then, yeah, right? Yes, it is your turn. But I do want to measure something really fast. Do we want to have one of y'all go for the... Uh... Uh, Old Ooh. Ice want to raise the banner? Uh, yeah. That's the sound of the banner going up. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, overcharge again. Um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, roll. One, D, three. Fucking A. Okay, I take three heat. Ow. Oof. Um, and uh, I'm going to raise the banner, uh, which uh, all allied characters within line of sight uh, gain resistance to damage and gain plus one accuracy on all checks and saves. Um, they at last until the end of my next turn, um, which means I get to double dip on benefiting from it. Uh, which means I'm going to use my full action to try and disable this door again. Okay, go for it. That's much better. Uh, that is uh, 16. Yep, just looking for above 10. That's going to be a success, and that will shut down the marker rifle. Hell which yeah. Which is the thing that uh, tagged uh, the Virtue before. That picked off my lock-on? Um, it will not disable it, but it will prevent it from locking anyone else on. Am I just locked also, on forever? No, until someone consumes the lock on. Oh, okay. But until so someone we, chooses to do that. There's also like a thing you can do to get rid of lock on, right? Like an action? Yeah, you, you can spend a full a full action to clear a condition. I'm not fucking doing okay. that. Whatever. Um, so before I go, um, uh, before base guardian goes, or well, actually I'll throw it up. Legacy, you want to go right now, you can, but I will say that you are going to watch as a kind of laser charges. Ooh, we'll say it originates from this guy because that's kind of thematic. Yeah. Um, and is going to shoot a line uh, through. Um, this is going to be one of these. This is the one towards Virtue. Five, I don't think it's going to do it. Absolutely not. 16 might. Against me? Yeah. Oh, right. lock no, on. no, no. Against me is definitely going to do it, yeah. Not, not consuming lock on. Uh, saving that for other people. Okay, so 16, um, you are going to take two energy damage, and you are slowed until the end of your next turn. Okay, so that's one damage because uh, of resistance and no damage because of armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hey. that's point me. You're slowed. So there. Uh, so... Legacy, would you like to go? Yeah, no, yeah. Um. Shoot your friends. I do think the, 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 the fun moment of like as I do have this like great guy like in board. front of me. Mm -hmm. mm. I do have this wonderful knight here that's right right in front of me that has a lock on on him. Have fun. And I have a big sword. You sure do. Oh, do you want to melee with me? That's not fun. Hey, uh, reminder that uh, if you attack back, that's only reducing our HP collectively faster. I Please. Know, I'm not dual, 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 dual. <laughs> Fight for my entertainment. Make fun but of my culture like next time. Right now, just like, yo, anyone got eyes on the CO? What the hell's going on with her? Your guess is as good as mine. Ed, it's reading. Would I be able to tell from outside of uh, that machine that it's entering Cascade? I say, yeah, you could identify. Okay. You are you are an HP expert. You you recognize a machine entering Cascade by the lack of response from Legacy. Uh, and just general cryptic code going on because I will say it was inside, inside uh, within the cockpit to kind of flavor your terror a bit more, uh, Elaine. Uh, you can definitely see everything as normal. You said you could see all your screens. You are getting a full combat read of everybody getting kind of messed up a little bit. The, it Delightful. looks like Legacy has entered Cascade. Uh, I don't think there's anything that Elaine can do right now. Yeah, that figures. And I think like as like the like sword comes in, like the shield comes up, just this feels personal. So I'm going in with a barrage and talk about personal. Yeah, sure, do it. Do it. Uh, ah. As a twelve. A heavy charged blade. 
which is armor piercing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have any armor. For a total of eight. That's a lot. Eight. <laughs> Anything else? You have resistance, because you're oh, within yeah. line of sight of me. You are shredded. I'm there shredded. is no resistance. Yeah, right. I don't... Oh, I thought it was just armor. Son of a goose. Yep. No armor or resistance was shredded. It's quite a good condition. I can imagine yeah, that the way it. this goes is that she dives in with the blade and digs it in and then pushes off and brings the rifle up. Ooh, snick. All right, is that your go? Yeah. Back with the rifle, okay. Right? I do have to roll though. Oh yes, roll for roll for that. Roll for the rifle. A thirteen. That's a hit. A four total. That's structure for me. Okay, make a structure. Uh, do you have a paint job? I do. Let's Let's roll for paint job first. Give me those six. Come on, paint job. I need a fucking six. Sixes, sixes, sixes. I got a fucking six. Oh. Hey, all right. Just scratch the paint. Brought back to one. Uh, though yeah. the turret is going to try and plink at you. That's only being a nine to hit, though. Not gonna, that's going to miss. So yeah, just okay. taking, like, taking like the, the rifle shot on the arm, pulling paint off, push, push, bringing the shield up, bucking the turret, just come the fuck on! Anything else you want to you wanna bully me with? Or are we good? Oh no, that was my full turn. <laughs> Fine, it's my turn then. Maybe someone else. Uh, yeah, I think there's like, you can like, in, in the cockpit, Reiji's hands are twitching to move Virtue to counterattack because every instinct of his is like, I could rip this fucking little mech apart if I really wanted to, but he's just not gonna do that because that's not tactically sound. So I think he's like, literally bites down on his teeth, like, kind of is going to, uh, Take a free action, actually. Uh, it's a free action to use my to use my fun thing, right, boss? Uh, define fun thing. You know the fun thing. Oh, your rising sun nanites? Duh. Yeah, I'd say it's a, if you have it in the cockpit, that's not yeah. you know. So yeah, it's gonna be a quick little dosage. Rattling around, trying to block shots from turrets and things. Pull the nanites. Uh, just size, pop them open. Right to the end, yeah, V. To the end, my lord. Let's kick ass then. Drain them, swallow really hard, and just kind of feel like the the heat building up in the engine and like in his own chest. Just all right, you sappy shit. You're pissing me the hell off, and I'm going to just uh, valiant charge as a free action right to this guy. Okay, so did move out of threat. So uh, yeah, sure, attack me. yeah, legacy. You are clear to attack. Um, and I just want to make sure you are, you do remember the Rising Sun Nanite's abilities. Yeah, I had a, I, I, I had, um, an accuracy to all, uh, attacks, checks, and saves and shit, right? Uh, attacks and checks, yes. Cool. It says one encounter, but that's boring. Oh, I'm also going to power up. I'm about to do that too, right? Hmm? I'm about to well power up. Uh, use, yeah. your, use your core power? Yeah, yeah. Well. I mean, that's not like there's going to be another fight after this, ever. Well, let's get into it then. Yeah, uh, yeah, so just, like, literally... Alex definitely as, as said, as like, as there's as probably going to be another fight battle. after this. I'm really good at saying that. So, <laughs> yeah, you come charging in uh, yeah. at the at the, at the the base guardian. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, awesome. he's Fuck. slowed, by the way, uh, because I'm, I landed next to him with my, with my, uh, my Valiant Charge. So mm -hmm. he's going to be, uh, yeah, he's slowed. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I got to activate this because he's slowed because of my Pankrati. I uh, currently have plus three accuracy. Cool. I'm going to hit him really fucking hard. Here. Uh, just, yeah, just to clarify, you just take the highest D6 of all of those. Cool. Because I've been... All right. Uh, in that case, here comes... I'm going to... I guess I, I'm, I can boost the free action, too, so I might as well overcharge. I'm, I'm going to fucking overcharge. I might as well fucking overcharge. I'm going to overcharge. I'm going to overcharge. I'm going to hit him a lot. Here comes the barrage uh, with the... Here, you know what? Here's the, here's the that. Uh, I got a 16 to hit with my big with my big fuck off thing. Plus another four for for 20 total. Uh, the 20 is going to definitely hit. Cool. 
In which case, I'm gonna roll two d six. Oh wait, hold up. First, I should also probably use the uh, the the, um, the the shotgun as well on that one. So I'm gonna roll that one as well while I'm at it, because that's also a thing. That's gonna be a 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 to hit. Yeah, no, that was critical. Cool. And then I've got uh, my two flex mounted pistols. Uh, that is a 11 plus 5 is 16. Uh, yeah, no, 16, absolutely. And the last pistol as well. That is a 10 plus 16 as well. 10 plus 6. So you're going to boost as a free action, uh, but it's going to be a valiant charge boost. Is that Valor the same thing? Valiant charge is free. Thank you. Okay. Uh, valiant charge boost. Boom, boom, boom. Right uh -huh. into him. Then you're barraging with, uh, w that gives you two, uh, thing my, jiggers. That's my heavy melee weapon and my, uh, and my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm, I'm barrage, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna overcharge so I can go ahead and, and, uh, and, and uh, fire my two flex, my two pistols too. Cause I'm gonna get all the damage I can. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So here's the melee weapon first, 2d6 plus one. That's maximum damage. Sorry, that's one short of maximum damage. So that's 12 damage from that. Mm-hmm. Uh, here comes the shotgun for 1d6. That's 5 there. Mm -hmm. And then here's two 1d3s from the pistols for 3 and 2. 5 more. So that's 10 oh. plus 12 for 22 total damage. Yes. Yeah, 25 total damage because the turret uh, shoots as a reaction. Very good. And yeah, you guys Very watch it's like good. Virtue just lands on the chest of this thing, spins the spear, and just starts stabbing it repeatedly. Charging with the spear, back off like with the shotgun, like you're playing some doom combo, and then just light it up with the two pistols on the way out, like you're gonna finish off with the matrix here, strategy. <laughs> it is, it is pretty early Gundam stuff. Uh, so it's 22. Okay, um, I'm just gonna take off the armor things there, and uh, yeah, no, you really hurt him. Good. That was not nice, but I thank you for hitting him. Because now it's my turn. And sure he has is. this really cool retribution ability. Bring it. Um, but before it goes, oh, buddy. I got to do something. Because people are going to start shutting down my fancy turret stuff. And that's not very nice. Um, <laughs> so, why oh, don't we... <laughs> why don't we do something fun? and put down a another turret. Well, because some people are going to try and turn off those systems and that's really freaking rude. We need to turn off four things, systems. right? You need to turn off four things. You've got two. All right. I can hang on for a couple more rounds. We'll see. No, I'm just being mean. I got this. I ain't that something. scared yet. Call my, call my vultures turkeys. You want for um, all right, uh, so, ooh, I need to roll a pop. I'm gonna do it here. Oh, okay. He gets it back, that's fun for me, not for you. Um, so, first things first, uh, I need you to, uh, make a hull save. Hull save coming up. Uh, hold on, where is my... Big dice. Hull save. Oh. Also, did you see the uh, the damage? It was a 16 to hit from Legacy for three. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll drop that then. I did, in fact, lose one structure then. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can... Uh, before you do that, let's uh, let's have you make the structure now because it'd be awesome if you did this and then did something nasty. So <laughs> roll, your D, roll your D6 for structure. Happening. Four. System trauma. Okay. Uh, roll another D6. Six. All right, that's gonna be a system of your choice is gonna be marked as destroyed. Uh, I don't really care too much, I guess. Uh, I'll bring my type three projected shield. It's very Gundam. Um, can you can, can the paint job be broken? You can break the paint job. Oh, then I'm breaking the fucking paint job. Yeah, okay, sure, no problem. Oh, oh. Handy dandy. Who, who says you don't job. learn anything playing this game? Um, okay, cool. So, uh, hull save, what'd you get on that? 
That is a... Oh, I, I, should, I shouldn't have rolled that. Let me roll that right now for you, baby. Uh, that is a 18. Okay, so you're going to succeed, so you're going to take two kinetic damage. Okay. But you're not going to be moved. Cool. Um, and uh, then it's going to shoot you with a drum shotgun right to the to the, to the, to the face parts. Bring it. Um, also, it's no longer slowed. Why? It just... Because it's a juggernaut, and at the start of its turn, it clears one condition. Oh. Well, that sucks. Yeah, right? right? Um, do this. What? What? <laughs> this, um, gotta get the glove in there. So, this is going to be a shotgun to your place. Um, ooh, nine. That's a no. Forget you can brace. Mmm. It does get an accuracy, actually. Uh. Oh, come on. I'm smarter than this, I swear. Eleven. All right. Uh, that eleven's gonna make it. Okay. So it's gonna be five kinetic plus eight for a total of um thirteen. Still shredded, so no resistances or stuff. Where's the accuracy coming from, by the way? Hmm. Where's the accuracy coming from? Oh, because uh, it has like a when you're up close. Ah. Well, that's not structure damage. Oh, jeez. Uh, for a one, I think. Are you sure? You roll a, d a dice for each structure you're missing, so you'll two d six. Oh, I see. And take the worst. You don't want to roll double ones. All right then. In that case, I have a four. Four is good. Yeah, I got a four, four. and a two. Both system trauma. Okay. So you are getting a system trauma. So roll another d6. Uh, it's another six. All right, that's going to be another system out of the way. I'll break the shield this time then. Uh, is it, it's not a limited system, is it? Nope. Okay, cool. That goes because I did look it up. Limited systems and uh, weapons that are out of charges are not valid choices. Fair enough. So that's oh. my that's my thing. You are free capitalized off of my mistakes, but that is also going to be the turret shooting at you. That is next to it. Plus one. Three is definitely not going to do it though. So you're going to take a hit and just kind of you can get under that shield as you know you're just taking a lot of dingers from this. Um, so I lanced in this, which means your turn, um, somebody's turn, uh, I believe it's Dawn's. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm the last one. Um, oh, last is such a strong Full word. action, go for it. Forget, you have a plus one on this check. I have plus two accuracy, because I boosted. Hey. Eighteen. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Three down. One more. Then, uh, let's use my free move. Two, four, five to get to there. And sensors range. What is my sensors? Do you know where sensors is on this sheet? Uh, on roll 20? Yeah. Uh, do 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 Um, sensors? I look. Uh, sensor, 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 sensor. Sensor is across from hull and agility. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 10. Okay. Yeah, I figure it's probably around 10. Um, not enough. That's okay. Uh, I will overcharge again. I feel like I should get some shades. Yeah, absolutely. 
didn't you have some sunglasses earlier? I did, I did. I, I put them away. You oh. fool! That's not good. <laughs> what? what What'd on? you do? I overcharged and got three extra heats. Yikes. But we're gonna throw Dominion's Breath onto uh, uh, Virtue. Take it, thanks. Ooh, okay. And that's it. It's yeah. Me. You're gonna give. You're gonna give him a shield. Yeah. Sure is. Well, I'm gonna give my my guy a shield. Okay. As uh as I use my third uh, trigger here, and uh, so a cluster of miniature drones are gonna begin just surrounding and basically either latching onto or swarming around, kind of like a scarab drone kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the base guardian, and uh, we're gonna do a. All right, for two for the next two attacks, he's gonna have resistance to all damage and heat. That the attacks that hit. Uh, but top the order, y'all go. I am going to go last so that y'all continue to get plus ones and resistance. Mm. Gone. Also because you're slowed. What? I, yeah, I can go. What? A, I can hold I up can for a while. Just go. Try to debuff the the heck out of them. I mean, can you make it to the last? Uh... I guess you can make the last thing in time now. Oh, on the very bottom? Or that one there's, over here. There's, there's one over here. the blue right. one. Oh, I didn't uh, the, see that the one. The blue one is close to me, but I'm slow, so it's going to take me two turns to get there and hit it. Uh, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If I get to here, is that close enough? Uh, Yeah. It's like... There. You're there. Yeah, you're there. It's, 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 it's right there. On it. If, you, if you got closer, you'd be standing on top of it. So, yeah, move, and then free boost, and then full action to roll it up. Yeah, okay. Make a roll. Sys, uh, system check or uh, hack fix. Woo! 23. Woo! All right. Woo! Okay. Um, let me just make sure I get this right. Because obviously... Four, right? The doors are here, are going to open. As uh, ancient locks are disengaged. Um, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now the parameters of the engagement have changed. It seems like the base guardian is too big to get through those doors. You can get through them. It should be fine. Then you run for it. So it's an You're exfil, done. if you like. Also, as a reminder, Legacy, this is your last turn uh, being cascaded uh, without the ability to shut down. Because, uh, you know, you're definitely going to hear, uh, you know, in the head. Seems your friends are a bit more persistent than I remember. I'll get them next time. Enjoy. So, uh, that is your turn. Uh, Legacy, would you like to go, or do you want the base guardian to, um... Bring it! Yeah, did that. <laughs> I ain't scared no ghosts. Oh, I'm dumb, guys. You know what? The you know, base guardian you know, can have fun. You know how dumb I am? How dumb are you? Base guardian gets two at turns. What? <laughs> It's a little shock and awe. It, this is an ultra attack. Ah, this is well, okay. Bring it. This is this is a rude customer. Take, like three turns in a row right now, just to make up for it. I yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. I uh, mean, I could. I could. I, it, I mean, like that's okay, I guess. You could. You I could. could. I, I don't think I'd like it too much, but you, you could do that. It would be okay. fair. So. I will say uh, the defense systems are going to go down in totality, so I'm going to get rid of these turrets. Um, and the lock-on is going to go away. Thank God. As well as the shredded and such. So you will get a resistance from um, from uh, old lays. Finally. But this drum shotgun I really don't care who you are um, because it just really does not act nice to people. Okay. Um, also need to check if it gets it powerful. Uh, it does not. So, it 
is going to, uh, actually... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's mean. Sorry, I had a thought, and it was a, it was a good, it was a good thought. Um, it's gonna try and ram you. Evil GM okay. thought. You're welcome to try. Uh, yeah. So, 1d20, and it gets one accuracy on all melee attacks. And it can do this as a free action. Because it is a supreme melee. 18. I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter. E evasion. Oh, yeah, it is, obviously. Okay, so, uh, I don't believe Ram does damage. No, it is going to knock you prone. Okay. Um, and I'm going to also knock, it's also going to knock you one away as it kind of just shifts its whole, boom. Um, then it's going to, uh, you know, shotgun. Okay. But it doesn't get that accuracy anymore because you're not as close. Nope. Which, it's not fun. But I will roll an 18 again. Won't need it, so you got it. Okay, uh, five kinetic. Resistance? Uh, with, yeah, minus resistance. So four. Okay. Overshield. Oh, overshield, so, so yeah. Three. Three, and, and uh, you take damage? Okay. Uh, yeah, it is a burst. Yeah, get bursted. Takes two armor piercing energy. Ooh, fun for me. And uh, needs an engineering save. All right, I can make an NG save for this guy. What's his NG? So I just want to mark off that he's taken two damage. Do do. Um. Oop. Okay. And then an engineering save is just a flat D twenty. So four. Woo! is impaired until the end of his next turn. Okay. Uh, which means it's a good thing it's almost the end of his turn, huh? Next turn. Yeah, yeah I know. Your next turn, big boy. <laughs> Remember at the start of the Guardian's turn, it clears one condition? Wait, it started a turn, though. It started a turn already. Yeah. Yeah, but it gets two, two turns, turns around. Okay, what about you? Yeah. Um, and then let's see. What can punch him with this? another uh, status if you can? I'm gonna try. Yeah, that would be nice. I can't really value and charge him again, obviously, so that's not gonna help me. Uh, um, lock on as a condition. Lock on ain't bad. Lock on ain't bad at all. How about you can get that, that from what? Get him with that condition. How about that? I gotta get a fucking condition for him. If you blow up, um, you'll probably hurt him. No, I meant like them. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I you think it is. I think what it's gonna do. Uh huh. Is it's going to bolster itself. Okay. What that do? Yeah. It's gonna give itself plus two accuracy on the next. Sorry, you can't save. do that to yourself. Oh, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Another character systems. Sorry, pal. It's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. uh, and it's gonna bolster uh, legacy then. What the rank? Hmm. Oh, it's within sensors. Within sensors. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not pal in the back thing. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's the end of its turn. Back to you guys. Okay, I'm gonna so, hit. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, same deal. Same deal. I think I fucking did last time. I don't give a fuck about this thing. Let me figure out how much heat I gained. Cause I honestly fucked this guy a whole lot. It's a it's a D three heat. That's cool. I believe. I'll take a one. That's oh. nice. Anyway, um, you still have plus three accuracy. Yeah, thanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know do a lot of hitting them with my abilities now. Uh, let's start with let's go backwards this time. Pistols first. Why not? Pistols looking like a that's a nine plus six. Uh, that's if you fifteen. Move. One further back. Yeah, 15 will definitely do it. Cool. Uh, next one's going to be a 15 plus 3 for the uh, second pistol. 15 plus 3? Yeah, definitely. Shotgun. That's a 9 plus 5. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. And the big boy. 
Hey, Turk. Yeah, what's up? That's 20. Oh, that's critical. Cool. So, uh, how'd that work for critical? Did I just double the damage I rolled? Uh, d roll, roll double the dice and take the higher, I believe. You just roll your damage dice twice and take the higher result. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, here comes the uh, two pistols first, 1d3s. That's a okay. three and a two. So that's five damage from the uh, from the pistols. It does have resistance because... Oh, no, no, the nanites are turned off. Never mind. Shotgun coming in for another four. And then okay. I'm going to roll the damage from my kinetic what my, my big guy twice. That's what we want. That's max damage. For 13. So okay. 13 plus 4 plus 5. Okay. Let me do... Okay, that's math right there, because it is going to lose a structure off of this. Oh, damn time it lost one of those fucking things. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see what happens. Ooh, a 2. Okay. okay. Uh, that's going to be a system six. trauma. All right. Uh, uh, it, should also, it should also take another three damage from the turret. Thank you very much. Um, the turret is... What does that look like? And it's within range three. Yeah, that's exactly at range three. That should move. Um, okay. Uh, Actually, no. Uh, that turret gets to attack anytime somebody else hits it. That's the piggyback turret. Where's the other turret? Uh, I don't think I've deployed the other turret. So wait, who's who's shooting at it? Greeny. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought that was what you were talking about. Yeah, that one shoots it. It doesn't have. It doesn't care about range. It just cares about life and For, somebody I, within ten. I care about range. It has, <laughs> it has resistance against attacks coming from farther than three. Um, okay, so I did that, and then I got six, so it's going to lose a system. So I'm tell you what, just going to drop the uh, siege armor. Cool. Yeah, okay. Uh, your turn done? That's all I got. Okay, yeah, no, I did not enjoy that at all. Uh, and Legacy, would you like to go now? Correct me if I'm wrong for what I'm about to do. <laughs> I mean, I can try and do my best for rules, but morality is entirely up to your perspective. You know? Okay. So... I don't know if this goes into a full barrage because I don't remember how that involves movement or not, but uh, we'll just start this off with the lunge over here to Don. Hey Don, how you doing? And Hoops away. Oh no. Nope, Hoops back. Don't worry, he's back. Hey Hoop, you're under attack. When the you target's away, the mice will play. <laughs> Uh, you're getting stabbed with a 16. <laughs> yeah, I think a 16 will hit, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, evasion 10. And that is 6 damage. I'll absolutely brace that. Okay, bracing. So, uh, you're going to get resistance to all damage, and uh, to the end of your next turn, all their attacks against you are made at plus one, uh, you know, the difficulty. But uh, you can only take one quick action. Can't overcharge, move normally, take full actions, or take free actions. So yeah, anything else you'd like to do at this moment, Legacy? So crack it, everybody. Hmm? Oh, that's foolish. Okay. Have fun. And bring down that uh, charge blade. And... 
you should just grab her next round and run for the exit. Just, just take her in both hands and run for it. We don't have time for this. Fuck off. That makes it a total of 14. 14 will hit. Let's go. How many damage? Uh, there's a total of five. Okay, that's reduced by one. Overshield pops. Uh, how much damage is that? Two AP damage. And, and an engineering save. Right? To not be all fucked up? Impaired, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. Meg, if you've ever rolled a one in your life, now's the time to do it. <laughs> we don't want Meg impaired. Like, what am I rolling? Uh, engineering. Uh, engineering. Check. Wait, do we not? Because then she can't, you know, keep murdering us. It's the last turn before she can uh, shut down as an action. That's fair. Okay, fair enough. Well, then just don't roll the one. This is Keep with plus two ball. accuracy because you're boosted. Oh yeah, you're boosted. Plus seven. Did you roll your accuracy? I'm boosted. Yeah, so you get plus two accuracy. So roll two d six and take the higher. Why is boosting giving accuracy? Oh, uh, and, bol and bolstered, not bolstered. boosted. Yeah. I've been bolstered. The guardian bolstered her. A total of twelve. Nice. Yeah. But I wanted to get rid of that bolster because I had a feeling it was gonna stop you from resetting. That's actually really good. It could have. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anything else we gotta do? That's it. Uh, That's the turn. Old lace. I think is the only one who hasn't taken action this turn. Oh, Elena. I hope you're okay in there. Uh, yeah, it's my turn. Uh, okay. So I assume that uh, Legacy is going to count as hostile right now, yeah? Uh, yeah, at the moment it is a cascading uh, NHP piloted uh, mech. Okay. So I think what I would like to do is uh, I'm I'm gonna do the thing where I wander past. Uh, so hold on, <laughs> gotta measure this because it's very hard to see. Let's uh, make it to there. Oh, I'm just gonna meander down there. Whoop. Whoop. I'm I'm big enough to walk over all of those things, I assume. Um, all of those things being uh, hops over the landing. Yeah, you can just kind of hop over it, yeah. I'm I'm slowed, but I'm not stumbly. Yeah. Uh, I think what I would like to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to deploy a Sentinel drone Hell yeah. as a half action. Uh, so that Turk, I would like to be placed. Uh, what's the what's the range on that fella? Uh, first two, perfect. Uh, yeah, so I would like to place that fella right there. Okay. Right there. Actually, place them. Let's place them right there. Sorry, put ping again. There. Okay. And you'll get the green dot. And you get a different color dot. Sorry. I need to be able oh. to tell them apart. Your thing. Perfect. Uh, okay. That's one thing that I did. So, for another thing that I did, it's. Fuck it, thermal lance time. Hell yeah, let's put some fucking damage on this asshole. Fuck, running all the right. down. Uh, okay, I get plus one accuracy. 
Do I get accuracy from anything else? No, right? Just I mean, for it's, myself. It's, it's really cool, but yeah, I don't think you get accuracy from anything else. Cool. I... Do, 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 do. It's a 25 to hit! Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll just about crit, I think. Uh, I'd have to double check, but yeah, no, that'll crit. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need out. Crit. Critical. Uh, hits. Uh, damage. Rolling my damage. That's eight damage. Uh, it's oh. energy. Okay. It will also have some resistance to this because you are uh, further and away. Distant, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so that's going to be reduced to four. Uh, so it's not looking great. Thank you. Wait. How much you did? You got to 43, 46, plus the three. Yeah, no, it's still, it's still up. Barely. Let's see about fixing that, yeah? Yeah. I mean, if you'd like, I could, uh, I, I would almost certainly get a stress, but, uh, I could overcharge and hit it Hold again. It. We got time. Yeah, we okay. We got plenty of time. Cool. Uh, then I'm gonna end my turn. Okay, um, it is going to be the second turn for the base guardian, so it's going to clear its impairment. Okay. Uh, then... I gotta check. The knuckles are back online. Fine. All right. Uh, so, first things first, I'm gonna power knuckle legacy. Gonna do what? It's gonna. It's gonna. You know what? Good point. You're close. Right here, up in its face. It should take the accuracy with the with the shotgun. Okay, uh, so it's about to attack. Yes, it is. It takes three kinetic damage. Okay, and it's still up, but again, like, come on, we're all friends here, right? We're all having a good time. Uh, are we? Is that what's happening? Bunnies. <laughs> my, I'm, I'm really excited, excited for you. I consider for me, boss. all of you my closest friends. <laughs> yeah, you're really oh, close yeah, we're friends. Have some we're real long talks later in base, you and I. Uh, I'm I'm really excited that this thing makes multiple attacks in a turn. So. This, I guess, is technically not even an attack. Because it do it every time they attack? Or does it do it as a reaction? No, every time they attack. Oh my gosh, Come on. that's really Keep good. Keep hitting me, Turk. What you got? Bring it. Hit me. Come well, on, Turk. It's going gonna, it's gonna to use a quick action to power knuckle you. Okay. Which isn't actually an attack. Because it doesn't roll to hit. It's just a hull save from you. Oh, you know is, it like mount is it mounted? No, it's not a mount. You know it's I have, like, three accuracy on, on checks right now, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I'm aware. I'm just, you know, you, cool. three accuracy I, is just high, highest of 3d6. Not an owl of them added together. You're down uh, to one. 15, the banner's, 17, 18. The banner's dropped. Banner's down. Oh, so just one. Just two accuracy then. Still 18. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's going to succeed. So you're going to take 10 because it's going to add on the extra eight it has stored up from you being mean to it earlier. Um, okay. And uh, you're going to be right up there just fine still. Uh, just add on the. Uh, yeah. I forgot it had lost its siege armor. Sure did. So I'm going to add back on. And if I told you this thing was hanging on by a thread, I'd be lying, because I don't know anything smaller than a thread on a moment's notice. Nanofiber. But that's the end of its turn. Oh, please let me be honest. Well, someone's got to go. Please, friends? Can I please? Can I please? Yeah, no, you go don't. for it. Can I, can I, can I, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don, you've not gotten a kill yet, have you? No. Crack this bitch. I'm not here to kill. Are you sure? I'm offering it yeah. to you. No. All right, I'm Take cracking it. this bitch then. Do you just just do just do one attack? 
Cool, here comes the, the, the big fuck off uh, spear. That's a 16 plus 3. I imagine, I mean, how, I, how do you, how do you finish this thing like off? Coming down, like trying to like it's, pin down and it, it just hurts you. And it finally tries to like, hits. just like drop onto it. And Virtue just kind of dumped under it, dragged the spear and just pulled up. You know, wiring cords and everything and just rips up until it tears out a bunch of wire and shit. And then just stabs the spear down while the thing goes critical behind him, falls over. Virtue is sparking and falling apart as well. Virtue just kind of... It is going to go to its knees. Do you want to end your turn here? I mean, no. I'm going to say no, because I can hit it again if I really wanted to. Yeah, sure. Oh, you know what? Um, I should roll for that. Um, do, do, do. Oh, might have take so long. I should also roll twos. Okay, it's just it would be a system trauma. Um, so, yeah. Um... One more d6, just see what it loses. Ooh, weapon. Yeah, that, that you'll catch the shotgun as well. Nice. All right, yeah. you want to keep shooting at it? Is it dead? I mean, effectively, yeah. What does that mean? I'm just asking if you want to end your turn here. What is that? No, Turk, stop being a fuckhead. What does that mean? I, I'm asking, do you want to end your turn? If it's in dead, I'm getting the fuck out of its way, then. How about it, that? It, it, you want to be a fucking, you want to be a fucking weirdo? Fine. It's, it's so dead. To end I my just turn, need to check. I'm going to move this way. How about that? I'm over here next to my friend. Then I'm gonna end my fucking turn, Turk. How's that sound? Also, also, as he skates away, as it like falls to its knees, the other turret shoots it again. <laughs> Cause it's still moving. Okay. So I asked because it is gonna blow up. I figured it was gonna, I knew it. I knew you were hiding that, you son of a bitch. I could just step back just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, please. <laughs> I have a condition. I can't reach you. <laughs> um. Full or full of explosions. Uh, the turrets are both gonna go up. As if you were in this blast, it was going to be two structure. Um, but if you made the save, it'd only be one. Cool. I'm glad to not be exploded. That's wonderful. I'm really happy about that. But the, the turrets are... As this thing basically goes reactor critical and then just act, seems to activate a self-destruct sequence that you know is definitely beyond the means of even a mech this large that would normally have it. It's like it was set to do it itself. Son of a bitch had one last trick. Damn it. I tried to date her your ass and you wouldn't even let me have that. Our you all good over there? Version. Functional. V, how we looking? Not well. Yeah. But we will fight. We'll be fixing this we one for a while, but we're online still. Anybody heard from our CO yet? We should probably put her out of commission as well, my lord. That's a mine too. Don't you dare. Okay, I don't get lectured right now. I just got my shit shot up. You did get a shit shot up. That's accurate. Now then, she's Cascade and she can't shut down? Uh, so, Elaine, it is, it could be, it's theoretically your turn right now. You could enter shutdown and it will end the uh, Cascade effect because, fun fact for everybody, in order to stop Cascade, you have to shut down the mech. Yep, go into the shutdown. Okay. So everyone's going to watch as Legacy just powers down completely. And I'm now. I think you can even get your own personal local comms that you have on your persons to crack through if you wanted to. Are we in like free role play now? Yeah, yeah. No, we're out of combat. Go for it. Cool. I uh, a legacy is or not legacy, but uh, um, old lace is going to like move up to where legacy is. Don't even think down. about trying to interface. Just like crouching down, I I wasn't gonna do anything. I was just making sure that you were okay. I'm fine. You should be worried about yourself and Reiji. I'm functional. What the hell was that? I assume that's I've all gotten thing my, that, uh, my that, systems, uh, and I went into cascade. Yeah, same thing hit us before. 
Look Voyager. You, bitch. Not a lot of fun, is it? Is it the, the giant sword wound? Like, this makes this even. Let's get the hell inside. Can you reboot? Just a second. It's going to take a minute for Legacy to reboot anyway. And the cockpit of Old Lace is going to open up. And uh, we're going to see <laughs> Sim, like, hurriedly putting on a coat. Uh, it's very cold. It's very it's cold. Very cold. Uh, and riding, like, the the um, the line down to the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and she'll wrap on the, the cockpit. Get back in your mech, Sim. Old Lace is fine without me. Are you okay? About as well as I can be. I can alter the the uh, battle data. I can try. So it doesn't get sent off. We're way far out from relay stations. Think about it. We can write it off in the data as a friendly spar. I'll even say you won. No, we can't do that. Great sentiments, guys, but there's protocol to follow. I've exactly. broken it once already. That, and we're never going to figure out how to how to stop it if we keep pretending like it's not happening. Agreement's given there. Either case, you functional now? No more weird glitches of trying to murder me? Legacy, are you back online? Lose take time. Before, before you answer that. Oh sure, yeah. She did follow protocol. Hmm. You cycled your NHP, yeah. Yes. Hmm. Ah, greetings. Of course, I'm prepared. Always ready to be functional. Well, there's some good news at least. That was where there was bad news. Let's let's just not. And you inside but you functional? Reggie fell is quite rude. I already confirmed my functionality. Let's just do it later. Sim is going to pat uh the hull on Legacy and kind of shake her head as she walks back to the uh, tow rope. Well, it's your show, Commander. Nice big hangar doors. Why? Yeah. Absolutely going to, to take a peek. Falling in behind, still creaking on some old gears and shit, but otherwise there. Now for your team. All right, you mean bitch. Let's show you how pers how stubborn they actually are. Okay. Uh, so you guys are going to um, walk into what appears to be uh, another section of the hangar here. Um, you do. You will spot another terminal um, immediately within the uh, within this chamber. 
that seems to indicate a process has already been run. Um, the uh, base guardian program has already in, um, initiated self-destruct, so there's no reason for this terminal to continue operating. You know, watches if it shuts down. Um, goes into power save. Operation Deep Freeze Protocol. Um, beyond that, uh, I think now, as you all head further in and investigate this chamber, will be a great time for us to take our first uh, break for the evening. Sounds good. So, uh, we will be right back. Make sure you guys go get some water, fuel up, do whatever you need to do, take care of yourself, and we'll be back real quick as our players continue further in. Welcome back, everybody, to Frozen Rain. Our heroes just blew up a big goddamn mech. So if you missed that, I'm real sorry. But you can catch it on the VOD and YouTube later. Uh, so, we'll just jump right back into it, though, because time is of the essence. And it's really cold out there. As I said, uh, moving through these large doors, you enter into a smaller but still maneuverable by mech annex. You saw a terminal indicating... Um, that the base guardian system had been shut down. Uh, it's self-destruct system could have been activated from here. Not really important because you guys handled it very well, but you know, something to think about for next time you have to fight something like that. Maybe there's a big button off switch. Um, but uh, a lot of the pieces here. Yes, here. I will wander through the door hoping for a big turn off switch every time there's a fight. <laughs> Last time I go through the door, people get turned off. Um, anyway. Oh, no, I'm sad. <laughs> um, but I will say this, you guys are, you know, it, it seems like that old style, uh, older or at least more like GMS, like not, th these aren't a lot, this isn't like a fancy hangar thing. This is definitely more standard build stuff for Spar. Like you would find this at any Techno Shaman uh, garage, um, honestly, any garage at all for here um so uh if anyone wants to investigate feel free uh but if you want to just want to move forward uh there does appear to be areas to kind of like you know get mechs in for not necessarily repair it appears to just kind of be like a holding bay um and there's it seems to be another lift beyond that though it's kind of person sized. So, does it seem like anyone's been through here recently? Make me a, a roll for that. Sure. Like a spot or a track or. It's uh, 13 for a spot. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so, there's not a lot um of activity here recently no absolutely not but like hasn't but you can see there it has been a trail from the lift you know to the to the door like not recent but the dust has been distributed differently so definitely past like a one week period and the reason we don't just book it on through here? Are there any mechs? Uh, there were mechs in the room before. No mechs in this room, though. Um, for the record, those were uh, GMS Sargamanthas, uh, Everest, and... Uh, yeah, no, they have they have those, um, and uh, also the GMS uh, Orahena, which is specific to Spar, kind of their uh, their winter collection for GMS, if you will. I shan't. No, we're fine. They're neat. We have art of them in the back, and they look like Mega Man. And you said that lift in the back was. People size. Only suitable for people. Yeah. Like, time to. Whoa. Well, I guess we're um, hopping in. Want to keep our guys on standby here? 
Hey, Mimi, can you keep an eye on everybody else? Of course I can. I'll alert you as soon as I detect any further cascading. No erratic movement, Thank B. you, love. Hmm. I will stand guard and vigil while you venture further with him. Though there is a fight, shall call me and I will dig my way to you. I Perhaps have... ascend to the very heavens itself. I have so little doubt of that, it hurts my head. Good luck, big guy. It hurt my hands. We'll take care of him. You better hear from uh, Mimir. Here with both of them. And yeah, I guess Reggie will slip on his jacket, probably get the hood up because it's decently cold out here, brush himself off, mm -hmm. grab a smoke from the from the cockpit uh, cockpit compartment he has it in, light it, and then head out, drop down, mm -hmm. meet up with the rest. Leon would hit the ground after climbing out of dawn and immediately invisible. Uh yeah, Sim has a little bit of ice cream that was stored in a little mesh bag on the outside of uh, Old Lace. She's eating it. And like I say, cloak defensive line. Alert us if there's any activity. As is standard protocol. Yep. All right. I do nothing if I don't follow protocol. <laughs> Let's get up there. Yeah, I know. Um, we'll climb out of the cockpit. Okay. Hey. Up the few steps. No, oh, just lying down. She isn't really... She is wearing an overcoat, but... She's mostly wearing just her jumpsuit, which is fairly... room tight. There's a reason for this. Uh, she actually has self-skin. So she isn't... really care best. about the cold. The best choice. Uh, Reiji will... Uh, privately paracom over to Elena and just no fun having that frigid bitch in your head, yeah? How much did she actually talk to you? Uh, we got into a bit of a shouting match. Yeah, well, this this time she told me to just shut up and watch. Couldn't have been a fun look, or a fun ride. Listen, I've been out here 13 plus years, seen a lot of weird shit. Nothing could have prepared me for that. I don't blame you for it. Uh, while this is happening, Sim is going to be checking the elevator for uh, sabotage and or just to make sure we're not going to die. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to make a check for that? Sure. Hacker fix. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Uh, that's a... That's a 19. Yeah. No, you're fairly certain this should operate well within its bounds. Though you will note, this tech is setcom like era. It's old, but it works. The, the, the glove. Mm hmm. Low glove, love. Um. Anyone else? Just uh... don't blame me for. Sorry. Right. All right. What was that? Don't blame me for what exactly? For going. After you? Nah, you're good. I'll watch you back for it. Just next time you look to control your mech, scratch my paint less, please. Hmm. 
Um, just gonna keep an eye. It's like the core of my eye to make sure that no matter where we're at, can just always see Elena. All right. It, the elevator won't kill us. Hey, well, there's some good news for today. This is as she is hanging upside down from the like mechanisms that are above. Like you know how there's like a hatch on the elevator. She's hanging down upside down from that. All right. All aboard. I can't get up. Oh my god. I'm here. Gotcha. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. You all get into an elevator and begin descending. Um, the temperature actually is going to increase a little bit as uh, Spar does have a lot of uh, natural heat pockets. They're just underground and you seem to be hitting one. But as you hit ground level, it will just kind of, there seems to be only two options, you know, just down or up. But stop the, you know, the motor just ceases. There's no ding or anything, but you enter what appears to be kind of a, you know, almost like a dig site into the ice. Uh, with some cot, uh, some some cots around, and uh, still ice pillars, but it is warmer here, so you don't have to worry about heavy gusts of wind or something. I think. Put this on. Well, so, yeah. Whoever's locked down here, they didn't get too comfortable. What exactly are we looking for? That's a fantastic question. Something that an NHP could interface with. So my guess is either some kind of terminal or a computer structure. Uh, it sounds like that's uh, your specialty. Once we get to it, gotta find it first. Agreed. Eyes up. Uh, I hope the facility down here isn't as big as the one above. We could be searching for ages. Given how tightly packed this ice is, I don't think we'll have that problem. Hopefully. Hey, attention for activity. Agreed. Uh, Reggie will draw a bolt is there of still... in one hand and a like, serrated knife in another. Kind of do the standard, you know. Knife one hand, pistol in the other. Oh, great. Uh, is this a good time to mention that uh, Sim is absolutely carrying a rocket launcher a and a pulse rifle? I think it's great, personally. Yeah, honestly. That sounds about right. Yep. That's on par. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the missile tube is about as big as she is. <laughs> I love that. And she is hauling it around. Of course. She's got like a like a backpack situation for it. There's the regular strap for holding it over your shoulder, and then she's added another one across it mm -hmm. with like this uh, universe's equivalent of Sanrio characters. Yeah. It's like some kid's backpack strap. Multiple doors up here, by the way. Looks like three. I love that for you. Turk, the I'm continuing the, the thing that Hoop was asking about earlier. D does any of this base seem trafficked more than the other parts? Uh, you can make a similar check, but kind of already going off of his, it's harder to tell down here. Okay, then I won't end up making a check just. Okay. Yeah, um... I will, because I'm curious. Sure. Make a spot or track check. Or an, something you feel is appropriate to the situation. Uh, it was a spot with a 17. Yeah, 17. Um, you get the same thing. You can establish the so more solid time frame now that, like... Weak, uh... Maybe a bit more ago, 
there was uh, some movement towards the lift from uh, from this room. Well, sorry. I'll uh, I'll do this like this way. Came out here, went to here, and then went to the lift. Hit the floors. Like, whatever they found came from down that way. They tracked it over here. The last door, and then to the lift. Same thing that Leon saw above. It couldn't have been more than two weeks ago. That does line up with uh, the distress signal and uh, the attacks on the ridge. We split up and cover ground. Doesn't sound too bad. Just don't get too far. All right. <laughs> I don't want to be on a team by myself. Can I go with somebody? Yeah, I got your back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come on, boss. Uh, Reiji will dramatically uh, fling his arms around the room and just... What do you think, Leon? <laughs> I'll start here. Okay, let me... Where uh... are we going, then? Let's take the far door. Oh. No one wants to go into that other door. We'll go door number two. I'll go in the other door. Let me, uh... Boom. Okay. Want to be uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's fair. You did almost basically kill your team, so I'm just gonna do that to make that easier. Yes. Uh. All right. All right. So. So all Hunter doors will up. open. All the doors will be open easily enough for all of you. So, uh, question: Who do you want to start with? I mean, numerical order. Sorry, Sim just kind of charged in, so I mean, I feel like that takes initiative. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. All right, um, I'm just gonna finish up revealing this room here. I have a rifle prop somewhere. I might go get that in a minute. Okay, so you all enter the statutory corridor. No, um, for me and what? me alone. The, it's a betrayal of the house in the hill. It's for me. Oh, um, okay. So, it seems to be a control room of sorts with a large meeting table and several display screens. Um, all but one screen is smashed and no longer usable. The final screen at the, uh, displays a simple symbol. A crown with a lightning bolt slashing through it. Hi, I would like to know if I know anything about that symbol. What's more appropriate to roll? Knowing secrets? Or, uh, Fari Lore. Fari Lore. Cool. Uh, that's a 16. Uh, so, that is a, uh, that is going to be a symbol for a group, um, basically uh, of a particular group of the, uh, of the fighters um, associated with the, uh, well, depending on your, uh, the Spari uh, Union War, uh, or SECOM's invasion. Uh, that is going to be connected um, to the leadership of Bjarki Kranksfeldsdotter. Kranksfeldsdotter, sorry. Love that in chat somewhere. Oh, okay. So, let me give me a give me a second. But uh, yeah. Um, I will get that up. You tell me what you're gonna do. Well, this. It, sorry, is that uh, clan still functional, or are they defunct? Not associated with a clan. Oh, sorry. Not one, not one of the major clans uh, that that are really established. 
uh, and it doesn't it doesn't appear uh, that uh, this person had a clan um, name. Pronsel's okay. daughter, just referring, of course, to you know, a family. Yeah, too. yeah, it's a tech name. Yeah. Okay. Well, if there, I know a name associated with this symbol. Wonder if we can get anything open on the terminal. That'd be your run of the mill. I'll look around with my eyes, see if I can find anything else interesting around here. All right. Uh, what well, you guys? Do you want to do a hack or fix or? Uh, I'll I'll hack or fix. Could I sure. read a situation? That's a that's a twenty one for me. Uh, pause on reading a situation because I think. I could, it could be useful in a moment. Uh, 21 on a hacker fix will absolutely succeed. And we'll, uh, I'm gonna just fill in a, a segment here for you. Um, is so that, you, can, sorry, can you tell me, is that a good segment or a bad segment? Good segment, 21, right? Okay, good segment, yeah, great. Good segment, good segment. Um, so yeah, no, you're, you're gonna make progress here. It appears like the, uh, the uh, systems here are like security is such that you're going to need to access the two different computers from two different locations. Okay. Like, there's going to need to be uh, some kind of uh, situation in which, like, all right, we're or, like, I'm going to access over here and like just, and it would also probably benefit you to have somebody distracting the defense NHP um, or like whatever comp con thing. It seems to be acting like an NHP. You're an NHP expert. I can just tell you, you recognize the work of an NHP. That's like trying to counter you as you attempt to access systems here. Oh, Even... hello, cheeky. Uh, and I will say this. Uh, can you make me a real situation as bo as your door will close um, the one you came in? Oh, that's fucked. I don't like that. Oh, I like see, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh -huh. It could be a perfectly natural thing. You don't want to leave the doors open. I got an right? 18 uh, plus my plus two. So that's 20 total. Yeah, no. Um, You're going to go over and check the door, and it's not going to open as you get close. Um, And it appears to have been uh, closed quite tightly. Um, You can hear the kind of uh, resistance as these the two... Um, Head of engines push against each other to make sure that stays sealed. Additionally, you are going to pick up a uh, carbon monoxide uh, warning on your uh, on your on your uh, HUD display <sighs> as it begins to increase in the room. So, before we do anything more with that, I do want to jump to the next room. So, uh, <laughs> number. So, before <laughs> can we get a button to that scene? Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's a cheeky bitch. I am a cheeky bitch, you hear from the computer. I am also a goddess. Uh, so, number two, I believe, is the one, uh, Elaine. What you doing? Because you enter what appears to be a kind of storage area. Uh... Explosives, weapons, uh, heavy-duty survival gear all appear stored here in a kind of slapdash manner. Um, most are similar to what you'd find today, but cold weather gear uh, definitely looks handmade. And, you know, I know you're not super chilly because the synth skin, but this is, uh, you know, some good stuff. If it gets a bit, if it gets, if it gets a bit breezy, then you know, maybe. <laughs> Could be useful for later if you ever want to get out of Sinskin, you know. Now, to be fair, Sinskin is lovely. Reprocesses everything you'd ever need. It's self-cleaning. Lovely, amazing technology. It can uh, survive in space. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get but, Elena out of her Sinskin. Hmm. It's 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 because I have a character who wears Sinskin a lot, you know. Um. Anyway. But uh, really, really awesome cold weather gear is my point. Um, One of the coats in particular seems very well preserved, I should point out, without having to really check it. Most likely. <laughs> is it the one that looks like... 
like that. Exactly like that. Like, that's how it looks. Like a Jon Snow cape? <laughs> um, it's gonna be a bit more like an Arctic expedition, but definitely some Jon Snow energy, I guess. Solid, solid. You can, you can recognize the fur of a, um, of a glacier beast when you see one now that you've seen one up close. The glacier beast. No, I've gotten the chance to kill one. We um, we have the skull, and we're gonna put it on the front of our dropship. Remember? Also true. I'm gonna be paying attention to like kind of where it's kind of going through. But what would what's the thought process? process of coming into this room after and then going to another one and then going to the lift if this is storage storage would normally be the last thing out sure uh you can make me a check to try and piece together a mystery or something whatever you feel is appropriate or just make a straight d20 mm. the closest thing would end up being uh spot um, you're trying to kind of figure out someone's head, but... 15. Well... Even without... I mean, unless you have like a plus 6 to the trigger, which you can't have at this point. That's going to be over a 10, which is really all we need. I mean, um, it is warmer it's here. A, totally wish, but it was a 13 without. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Totally totally fine. You're still above a 10. Um, it's, it's cold on this planet. Uh, and there's a lot of handy dandy survival tools so someone might want to get a coat check things out can you make a listen check for me if you have a spot uh, if you have a trigger for listening uh, uh, I don't think I think I have a listening. No. That's fine. That's... Or no. Hmm? I could, you, you were uh, frozen solid, like the sparry ice. You were frozen rain? Oh, well, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, if, if you don't I... have, a, if you don't, if you don't have a trigger, just roll d20. Okay. And uh, we'll see. Is that twenty? Hey, these guys oh, like you're me. Just, just a nat twenty. Could you do that to your friends? The um, casual nat. You are gonna hear a Even beeping when I'm bullying my friends. Oh, look, gonna... I could have. You're gonna hear a beeping from the munitions area. Does that Beep. sound like an explosive that's being primed? Do you have explosives, Lore? Are you proficient in the boom booms? I am a heavily trained soldier. I believe I would know <laughs> what at least what it sounds like, even if I don't use it. Cool backstory. You got a trigger to back it up? Joking, um, but trigger for that. Listen, if you want to talk about assault and how it could be applied, <laughs> I'd say assault's more, you know. But why don't you roll me a d20, um, plus your grit. So it should be one. My grit. And you rolled a natural twenty last time. It can't be worse. It's an eighteen. See. Are you supposed to add a grit every time you add no. a trigger not, as well? Not, no. Just no. The grit is it, grit is okay. for your pilot's health and then saves and um, skill and then um, something else. I'm forgetting at the moment. But uh, point being, you definitely recognize that as an explosive sound. Oh no! Wait, and this is perfect. It's been primed. Now, the type of explosive, who knows? 
But potential key laced in hand. I want to jump over really quick to our friend, the one who's not dying poisoned in a room. Mm -hmm. Leo. Uh, (laughs) You're not dying. Yeah, I'm I'm being, you know, superficial. All right. Leon. Just hit the elevator. Just leave them all behind. (laughs) Yeah. You hear screaming like, ah, yeah, no, I figured this out. Well, that fucking sucks. Um, (laughs) So... The room you walk into seems to be a kind of uh, like a like a nervous center kind of thing, like like a NASA. You know what? Better example: Star Wars, uh, the Hoth base, where they're all like kind of ca- carved into the cave, and they have you know the computers all built along it. Where there's a variety of, of readouts and, and computer systems there. Big room. Honestly, not to tell you how to feel, but like you and Sim in traded places, I think Sim would be very excited. It's a lot of tech here. Um, anything that would stand out to a, a paranoid individual that's looking for like traps or um, like cameras, I guess. Cameras? There are cameras. Uh, you can already you can tell they're not really hidden. Traps? This room seems old and untouched, so that should probably trigger all your alarms. Okay. Yeah. Step in and just start taking a look around. Like, try to cross the room and then... The lights turn off. Ah. Wait. Starts to wave his hand. Realize I'm invisible. Motion sensor wouldn't detect me. Um, so I do have a smart scope. Mm. I can pair with any thermal, optical, or simulated division, simulated vision device. Um, I'll just go head up to one of the cameras. So you walk up with the camera, and and you can see. Sorry, tell me one again. What you're trying to what are you what are you trying to see with the cameras? Uh, hook up my scope to the camera to see what the camera's in. Okay, yeah. Um, I'd say that's gonna be like a you have like an engineering of sorts or like uh, you know something. A little not necessarily hacker fix, but like you know you're splicing into a camera system. That's not as easy as just you know. I have nothing of the sort. You can make a flat D20 roll then. Yeah. Um, but also because the light's off, uh, you are going to make it with disadvantage. Because you... Um... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Two ones. A natural one. Oh. <laughs> Can't quite do it. You, ca- you, you feel like you've got it and... And and you like are reaching up there with a wire and the, and the uh, like a wire cutter in the scope and you're like, trying to cut into it and just you know, wait a fucking second and and you kind of like let your eyes adjust a little bit and you're not cutting at a camera you're cutting at a very like you know round shaped part of the ice melt. All right. Uh... Mm-hmm. Do any of these terminals look like they could be activated? Um, several are still in operation, but for the most part, they appear like... Eh. Hey. Got a bunch of computers over here. Not really my bag, but... I s- touch- Sorry, I say just as you're finishing that part of your sentence, that's when the when um, room one, you guys are going to uh, have the door slam and be figuring that out. Ah, in hell. Oh. Multiple terminals. That makes sense. There seems to be some sort of combination. Also, uh, Reiji, why is... Uh, <laughs> Reiji will walk over. Like, and again, because this is an anime, this looks like it's about to make out with Sim. Like, he grabs the back of her head and everything. <laughs> And just pulls the rebreather out of his pocket and shoves it on her face. 
breathe, then talk. Uh, there seems to be some kind of uh, system that we need to coordinate between several rooms. Uh, also, our door just locked itself. Um, so I hope you two aren't standing by the exit door because I'm probably going to rig up an explosive. Reiji, why'd you do this? Why is your hip thing beeping? Carbon monoxide leak. Oh. oh. You're also getting that a notification now that you see it. Your suit will, of course, notify you. Oh, that's... Okay. Um, yeah, I'll start rigging up an explosive. Uh, and, uh, um, just don't be near the door. Yeah, no, no worries there. Uh... Yeah, I'm probably not going to do, uh, I'm, pr I'm not going to use the rocket launcher to do this because that seems like overkill and likely to injure somebody. Uh, but I would make a bomb out of, uh, like one of the charges. Yeah. You want to make a, uh, like an explosives kind of check or something? Unless I hear from somebody else that they have a convenient bomb. I mean, I've just got the blow something up straight that or trigger, but obviously you probably got that better. You are muted. I think we probably have it the same. Yeah. I, I have it at a plus two. Same. <laughs> Unless somebody has a really convenient bomb on comms. I've got an explosive. I have an explosive that's currently active in storage, ascertaining what type it is now. And let's let's You wanna move in? Around, give that a peek around and see what's going on. You move <laughs> in and it you move in and it blows up. No. Yeah. Well, so, uh, make sure you check your player health. So it's only gonna be one damage. Love that proximity. As 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 um, all of you hear a, and Eliana's stat comms just like crackle really hard. You're gonna get thrown into the back. Your hard suit's gone. It was just basically savaged by this. So you take minimal dam. You take the least amount of damage, but your hard suit. Consider yourself uh, out of out of hard suit now. Elena, I doubt. What's uh? Hello? <laughs> Fine. Yeah, Lisa, you definitely heard that. You know. Door's still open, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, we're going to place a charge. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the game plan. Right. Uh, are, do you want to roll this, or should I? Uh... You'll probably have an easier time rolling, given that you're not suffering carbon monoxide poisoning right now, and I definitely am. Uh, it's it takes like five minutes for that to happen. Fair enough. In that case, let's do it. It's already been one minute. Oh, well, um, I don't know. I'm going to roll, I guess. Yep. That <laughs> takes one minute. That's a uh, 14 with my plus two. Okay, that's going to be a success. So you rig up the charge, and you can have it ready to go. It will take you a minute to do that, though. Just that's fine. I got three left, then. Uh, yeah, three minutes. And you can... If you want. Let's go! And just blow it. And... Blow it. You make a solid dent. Uh, solid, not just dent, but you blow like a... Not a person-sized hole through the door, but like... Was the was the goal to just like big blow up, or do you want like shaped charge to blast through? We want a, a sizable hole in the door so that we have some gas exchange. Yeah. You're going to get a sizable, like, bubble. Like we didn't go through? Not fully. Fucking hell. But it is a success. That's going to fill up that clock. It's All not right, a clock. we're going to need more then. You can't make okay. the same check twice. Uh, no, no, yeah. I guess can't I'll... make the same check twice? No, you, you can't. You can, absolutely. Okay. Go for uh, it. Then I'll do the same thing. Yep. That's not good. That's a five. Uh-oh. Uh, you're going to begin rigging this up, and uh, we're just going to say it's not going to... You're not certain if it's going to punch through, but with the exceeding damage, you're fairly certain, but it's going to take you more time, so that's going to be four minutes. You can do one minute left. Just really, really quick. Uh... I imagine Leon's probably catching her breath on her back, and then, um... Leon, you gonna do anything? Um... Got two friends choking out. 
There's an explosion behind you. I'm not trying to bait you into anything. I promise. The door's even open. <laughs> door's still open. There's, a, there's still a light. Open. There's an arrow pointing back towards it. Um, yeah, yeah. He'd he'd head back that way, kind of like peeking around the corner, make sure he's not about to step out and get blown up. Um, cool. So you peek your head out around the door. Can you make me a skill check to evade something that is coming to attack you? I have stay cool, get somewhere quickly. I think get somewhere quickly could work in this case. 16. Okay. So, uh, you are going to, like, pull your head out, expecting someone to get around, and then you're going to watch as that door, uh, the doors quickly begin to try and close on you. And you roll quickly forward as they slam shut. I don't know uh, what the hell your problem is. But if you oh, just yeah. came out and talked to us, you might have to not go through all this rigmarole and head over towards where... The sprinkler uh, systems in that room activate. <laughs> uh, second shape charge. Last minute left. You gonna blow it? I mean, yeah, right? Is that the plan? Love? Yeah. Yeah, no. And the uh and a hole goes through. Uh and the uh and uh you know, you'll get that gas exchange now, so you'll read a re greatly reduced level of carbon monoxide in the room. Differentiation already beginning. Fucking hell. I was getting lightheaded. And Sim's gonna smash the room breather under your face. Is that an indirect kiss? Is that how that works? Uh, sure. <laughs> you both okay? I'll let the I'll let Blow the decide that one. We're still breathing. I hate you. I hate right. you all. The boss still alive in there? No, I I am in the ninth circle of hell, and my body has frozen over. Are we all? Is that door closed? Uh, which door? The, the door to the supply room. Uh, no. Perfectly open. Why don't you stick your head in it? Yeah, no, thank you. Hold tight! <laughs> the frigid bitch is in the system still. Let's figure out what we're, what we're playing before we get ourselves killed in here. As, as you guys finish, as your doors open, you're beginning to converse, your door will attempt to open, but of course, since it's been warped, we'll kind of just catch on the edges and kind of be like... Yeah, then I'll just, we'll slide out. Slide in the, through the hole. I'll help Sim through as well if she wants to come through and just... You would be the one needing to be helped out. That's fair, I'm big. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I'm a big lad. Larger lad. Uh... So, Sim has been messaging the other uh, the other two because they have data plating uh, so that um, if, if uh, the NHP is using audio to listen in on us, uh, she's basically sending like uh lightly encrypted text uh to them saying that there is another terminal and that we have to co-activate them do any of you have electronic equipment as you're getting out into that main room with a sprinkler on uh this room here sim is not going into the main room yeah this the central room yeah not really um, i got a smart I scope but i wasn't really too worried about, worried about that right now no, smart scopes are good. You're okay. fine. Then no, not worry about even... open electronics. Okay. As a question, uh, how would a subjectivity enhancement suite is that is that too electronic? You not electronic. Be... That would be shocking, <laughs> to say the least. Ooh. Oh wait. Did I just not go swimming? Uh. Hmm? Reggie will just come back over to. to you can take sim, it off because I've got my survival kit. I can. Uh, I got, I got it's, it's got it's, I've got it's got backup thermals which I can just layer over top of my other clothes as I take my jacket off and hand it over and, hit, and put it over Sim so she can walk in the slicker and not get uh get soaked and or shocked. I'm I'm hanging out in this room because I I know that we need to activate the terminal so I'm not leaving the room yet. Never mind. Then. In that case, we should get to the other terminal end, which is in in room three, right? Yeah. Where the lights are out in there. I got a, uh, hold on. Do I have a flashlight? Yeah. I don't know oh. that any of us should be alone. Can I roll? All right. Uh, I guess 
First off, I want to make sure our, our CL is, is functional. I can go through this door without too much trouble, right? It's, it's, all, it's all good? Hey, there. uh going to try to crush you. Right. Let's not do that, then. I don't want to get trapped in there. Do you want to... Wait, hold on. For anything else, are there still proximity sounds? Like, is there sounds of another proximity explosive? From the room? No, it was just seems to be the one. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm going to see if I can beckon Elena silently to come out and join us. Yeah, I don't think it really needs to uh, rely on sight. All right. Yeah, Elena looks like she just got fucking shredded. She's out of hard suit, like pure just sin skin. Like hearts are My still nice probably on her. Arm. <laughs> Yikes! That looks hair's hard. kind of scar. Hair's kind of like you know frazzled back. I don't know. I kind of like you a bit frazzled. Good look on you. Reggie says very sarcastically. Yeah, I think you look great. Take a moment, catch your breath. You do that, I'll work on some light. And could I use some, like, uh, a per piece of cot, maybe some, uh, like, a, 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 a stick of some kind, find a, a small lighter. I, I, I like, I smoke cigar, I got a lighter somewhere around here. Can I make a torch you, using a survive roll? You are, you can, but to remind you, you are in a room with a sprinkler system active. Okay, can I make the torch, and then and when we get to the other room, I will then light it. Yeah, sure, I can see okay. that. Okay, that's... Yeah. As a 15 With plus 2. the material from that room, initial room, that is now all wet. I can dry it. You could also go to storage and there get some of the... Then I'll do there that. There's a bunch of stuff in storage. Straps from in there. Then I'll do that. Right. The, uh, I, you might as well look for a flare in there. Yeah. You probably got a flare, right? Yeah, let's do that. Search. Seems reasonable. Cool. Looking for... Uh, yeah, I'll... I'll 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 take that survive role to be looking for anything I can use to make some light, whether that's finding a flare or creating a torch. You can find some glow sticks. Cool. Love yeah, a good like, glow stick. You're starting like, to you rave. Know, Reggie will walk back, back in, into, 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 into the stick. room having a minor rave with himself, and then he'll stop once he sees the people still around him. <laughs> None of you saw that. Yeah, sure. It's absolutely been recorded. <laughs> Fine then, I'll keep my glow sticks out here, and no one we can all go in the dark room by ourselves with no lighting. I'm good. I'm and gonna hang out here. Janeo, something so pure. I hate you. I I'm gonna hang out here in the middle of all of us, just in case we all get separated again. Fine then, I'm going in. Step in. The door doesn't yep. attempt to slam on you. Thank you. That's a start. Is it just me? Do you just not like me? I mean, to be fair, you make that really easy, old man. Well, I do. I feel like I'm very personal. Do we leave Sim alone? She's got the terminal in that room. I mean, if it's a large cavern, like you say, three of us. I'm keeping an eye on everyone. You want to keep me company, Commander? Yeah. Come on. No, but I am going to look for this terminal. Well, sure. Make it worse on me. And yeah, I'll also look around for a fucking terminal. I'll even pass Elena a glow stick so she can have her own light and be away from me. It's a big room. We have to split up. Yeah, I don't want you near me anyway. Searching around, there are a number of consoles want... and computers. I'd be near anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing and, a door uh... up here. Don't know where it leads. Yeah, you can check it out, attempt to hack. I think uh, looking at uh, maybe trying to fill up this clock. Is there the clock no is second out. terminal in here? There's several terminals. Oh, man. Mention that. Yo, Sim, any sign of what I should be looking for for this terminal to open to what we're doing? Or just any terminal? Sim, is there something specific? Does the symbol need to look for? Uh, there's a symbol, and anybody who has data plating, the symbol pops up on it. The crown with the lightning. You seen any of these? These appear to just be regular, everyday computers. That I'm checking out the door. You've been you've been in two rooms. You can tell that the uh, control room and control room probably has a bit fancier, uh, you know, sleep screens. Mm. But these appear to just be like you know, 
they haven't gone to sleep. They're just still active. Uh, You're gonna check. Can I do anything to help them figure out which terminal it should be? You get the sense that it's any terminal. There's not a specific terminal. Okay. Any old terminal will do. Sounds good. What do we do? Uh, I am about to determine that. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to roll to figure out what they need to do? Do you want us to, like, co-hack? So, so you're going to need to access the terminal from two areas. Um, others can join in in ways they want to try and assist. Um, either distracting, like, doing something to, like, distract the NHP. Um, doing something to, uh, you know, uh, access the computers. Um, you know, stuff like that. All right. Hey, have any of you built a fork bomb before? I don't know what that is. I love it's that a... that's a really good reference to a previous Neon Lights campaign, and that makes me really fucking happy. Thank you for that, Vermin. Also, anyway, uh... The chance saying that? No, uh, uh Michelle uh -huh. did, actually. It was part of Michelle's way to be AI, AI Elon Musk in our Cyberpunk campaign. Hmm. It was great. Right, so for anybody at home who doesn't know what a fork bomb is, it's a very, very simplistic cyber attack that you can you can't really implement on modern machines, but uh hey, with paracausality anything's possible. Alright. Uh, well, if one of you wants to start running a fork bomb, we basically just need to distract her. Or actually this is gonna be over the uh the uh um data plating. Um we basically need to distract her while we hack so that we're keeping her in two places at once. Paracausality is great across multiple timelines, but it doesn't necessarily help with multitasking. Makes sense. Anybody want to volunteer to distract? I don't think I have the really knowledge to do a fork bomb. Not exactly useful right now. I'll see what I can do. Any kind of ruckus will probably work. Yeah, if we need a distraction, I can go talk to the old bitch for a while. That's my plan. Why not, old man? You up for Team Crumbus with the old Yenavo for a bit? While the ladies do their thing? <laughs> um, while she's invisible out there in the water, it's just gonna pull up, you know, like, that, uh, that, that data plating and, like, the, kind of, that open the, uh, the data chip that has all of those dog tags that he's been picking up from the, the deceased pilots and just, like, let them kind of float up. Now you can see me. Now you see what these are. Come down and have a chat about them. Feel like any dead souls here probably should belong to you, right? Uh, Reggie will uh, just tap into a console next to him and just... Hey, old-timer. We should have a chat while, we're, while you're here. Uh, yeah, you can both make social checks of your choice. Um, if you have appropriate triggers, feel free to add them. But just stick to one trigger right now. Um, Peter Wizzes, uh, if you could please. 16. All right. I'm just going to get a flat roll of mine, because I don't really have a worthwhile trigger Another for success. I went with stay cool, like trying to pretend like we might have an edge of an advantage. Yeah. My, can I go with word on the street and try to use like rumors and shit that I've heard from around the, around the locals and like twist them and like making them seem like people like are afraid of her basically being like yeah I hear in the tavern that they're, they're calling you a fucking witch out there people are avoiding certain places because of your because of your annoying ass just go back to fucking sleep I mean fear yeah I mean you could roll for it and get it up to DC because I mean fear isn't so bad I can also just it's flat roll if you want me to just try to flat roll like a trigger yeah. Oh no. If if you don't if you don't have anything you feel particular, but like I yeah. want you to apply triggers if you got it. I'll just I'll just flat roll. I don't have anything good. That is a seventeen. I'm rolling pretty hot today. I'm liking this guy. I'm gonna keep this guy around. Seventeen. Okay. And legacy. I will get to you soon in a moment. Uh, Legacy rolled a 14. It's in the... Oh, uh... sorry. I... Okay. Hey, that's a full clock. Okay. So, from this, I... Uh, running distractions, and you both get a sense of, like, 
cameras shifting and, and sensors kind of going towards you. Um, Sim, uh, you activate your sensitive your uh, enhancement suite. Yeah, so Sim uh, pulls the cord from behind her ear and plugs it into the terminal. And you're going to, you know, it allows you to, you know, have a full depth into the OmniNet and the presence here. Um, now you felt the full like attack and weight of um, of a Univol, uh, of the Univol NHP before. This is not Univol. This is a shard, a fragment, just a splinter that's operating at very low power. And you watch as it tries and like, you know, grows heads and tries to turn them around, but can't grow enough to look at all of you. And you have enough time to affect it. It's kind of like a Cerberus standing on top of a small horde uh, of treasures rather than uh, the full manifestation of the goddess. And you are able to, you know, artistically speaking, in the Omninet, go and collect the the loot while it's gone and its back is turned um, and retreat and, and go back to the physical world. And you're going to get a bunch of data repeated, um, available on uh, on your uh, data, on your pads. As well as you watch that fragment of Univol just kind of sputter and cease lacking function, just kind of dust in the Omninet, in, in the Omninet wind. And as you have a new bountiful amount of data, the top of which an informational brochure called What is Operation Cold Snap? I think that would be a great time for us to call it. Dun, dun, so. Dun. Thank you all so much for joining us. Of course, um, we will be uh, back next month. So we hope you had a great time watching it. Uh, and I hope my parents had a fun time being here, hanging out. Uh, I'm, of course, going to give them a chance to tell you all about the wonderful things they do and the awesome content they put out. So uh, if you could, starting with uh, Andrew on the far left, um, please tell people who you are, who you're playing tonight. Sorry. Who you are, who you play tonight, and all the awesome stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't say it last time. I am Andrew. I had the absolute pleasure of being Leon Holtz tonight. Your sniper, your scout, your paranoid former soldier. And uh, I love this game so much and this crew. Y'all are amazing. Um, other than that, I can find them on Twitter at Lost Caravan RPG. You can also follow our streams. As we stream all kinds of stuff, including Lancer every single Sunday, which we have named Lancer Day, with uh, some other, some someone else, you know, maybe maybe some some Turk action there who was spent last session in a coma, being uh, ravaged by a, a nanovirus, you know, as you do. I just stole gods. <laughs> um, but yeah, we we do a bunch of cool stuff. We do casting calls every single month. We love having new people, so. You know, if you want to stop by, hang out, and maybe roll some dice with us, we'd love to have you. That's it for me. Guess that makes it over to me, right then? Cool. Uh, hey, Internet, what's going on? I'm Young Foxy, a.k.a. Big Foxy, also known as your favorite fox, Kelly's finest. I can be found on the Internet at uh, Foxy Tunnel. That's F-O-X-X-I-I Tunnel, both the way it normally is. Uh, you should go ahead and give me a follow there. I don't go right wingers. I slay fascists. I have a great time doing it. Uh, the next place you're going to see me at on the internet is, well, you probably won't see me directly anywhere for a little bit, but I'll be doing some recording on Sunday. However, next Wednesday, you will see a pre-recorded version of my face for another wonderful episode of Stardust Ghosts, my bi-weekly uh, Mech Tons Data campaign. So if you thought we had enough Mecha going on here, there's even more. It's an all-BIPOC femcast full of incredible players who have brought just their fucking all to it, and I... I'm literally racking my brain every day trying to create more and more incredible stories for them, to, for them to bring to me, and they never fail to go above and beyond everything that I did. Uh, next episode is gonna be a banger. Shout out to Vermin for the preview she helped me put together for her last episode, which is super, super awesome. Uh, otherwise, I'm just around, and uh, it's my birthday in five minutes, so tell me you love me a lot. Thanks. Okay, bye. Mwah. It's It's my turn. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm Legendary Vermin. You can find me as Legendary Vermin on all the places on the internet that matter, which is of course itch, Twitch, Twitter, and I suppose YouTube. 
uh, I have a website where you can normally see my streaming schedule, but I haven't done a good job keeping up on it. Uh, keep an eye out on legendaryvermin.com slash live uh, if you want to see what I am doing. I'm going to update that uh, very, very shortly. I believe the next place you can see me is here for With the Will on the 16th, uh, unless something else happens in between now and then, and there's either this show or another show. Um, uh, would anything anything else important to say there? Oh, uh, it's my birthday in five minutes and 24 hours, so uh, once you're done loving on Foxy, then you can come on over and love on me. Get very busy weekend. Sounds like a great evening. Series of evenings. So carve out a whole weekend for y'all. <laughs> Wink. Now, while I can't exactly drag out my outro 24 hours so that I can say happy birthday to Vermin, I can sure do my best to try to drag it out for as long as possible to make sure that we wish happy birthday to Foxy on stream. No, it, I'm an embarrassed shot of you. We're singing happy birthday on stream. Everybody be prepared. Um, but uh, hi, everybody. I've been Meg slash Meg Mysteria, and tonight I've got the distinct pleasure of playing Elena Victoria, who unhappily turned against her team and uh, damn near lost them. Could have lost her mech, could have lost her NHP completely. That would have sucked. She also got blown up, um, so she could have lost herself along with that. <laughs> Um, as far as what's coming up for me, uh, keep an eye on my Twitter. That's usually how I, I usually post my updates to there. It's the same as you can see on the stream here, uh, my Mysteria on Twitter, on Twitch, on itch, um, as such in the discords of Neon Lights, Lost Caravan, as well as Singularity Roleplay. Um, we just started our first campaign on Singularity Roleplay. Um, the main campaign, we're doing a two-shot, which will be on, the second part will be on the 30th for that. Uh, as far as what's coming up before that, we have our premiere episode of Season 1, Pandora's Hope for our Project Sunbreaker long-form alien campaign, where I have two of the other wonderful GMs uh, for, uh, with me on the screen, uh, rotating back around. After that is, I believe, if I'm tracking my memory correctly, brings back around to the beginning of November, where we'll have our next episode of Last Transmission here on Neon Lights. And then coming back around to Lancer next month, where we'll see the consequences of our actions and my hubris coming back to bite me in the ass. Hubris and Meg, I forgot. <laughs> There's the whole clip. There's a whole clip. So it is my second your favorite clip <laughs> so uh hey everybody i don't think i said at the beginning but i'm turk or turk accented um and i'm happy to say happy birthday foxy so should, should we do it should we do really? yeah we're doing it we're doing it on three do okay one, one two, two three, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy 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 birthday to you. Here's an imaginary cupcake. You can blow out the candle. Are you one? Are you two? With four well, different yeah. timing for that song. Well, no. just it like I said, next to the Cascade, so I sing Happy Birthday to Cascade as well. Um, <laughs> I 
No, you got to right. let Turk do his outro. <laughs> if you're out, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Later, gators. <laughs> I use my time wise.